What's up guys, Franco here from the Achievement Hunter community, and in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock debug mode in Sonic CD. Now in order to unlock debug mode, you need to have sound test unlocked. And if you don't have that, and it's located in the extras section of the menu, you need to go back to time attack and beat all the special zones with a time of 4 minutes or less. Now, you're going to load up sound test, it's just like all the other sound tests from the other Sonic games, and you're going to type in 12 on the left and 11 on the right. Then when you press A, you're going to get this nice little screenshot of Tails saying see you next game. And this is not the only one by the way, there's a lot of them, and I did a video on it if you want to check that out. But what most people don't realize about that particular screenshot is that after you press A and it goes back to the main menu, you can start a new game and you'll be in debug mode. So I'm just going to select Sonic, skip the cutscene because no one wants to see that. Although it is pretty cool, I have to admit. And voila! You are in debug mode and you'll know it worked if you have a coordinate system on the top right part of your screen. Now the controls are really simple. It's B to enter and exit. It's A to cycle through all the items that you can uh, place down. And X places them. So it's really cool. I like how some games do this and I think more of them should just because it's a, it's a good way to... Um, just explore and experiment like the game itself. And it does have a couple of good applications, uh, especially ones that I happen to enjoy. Uh, obviously the first one is quote unquote cheating, where you can just, you know, rack up rings and get power ups and stuff. And that's pretty fun, but the main thing uh, that's pretty cool about this is that you can do machinima with it pretty easily. Um, like a main thing is that as you can see here, you can move around very fast, and you can also explore almost every part of the level. So you can find open areas if you do want to do machinima, and then you have a whole multitude, I don't even know if that's the right word, of items that you can select, and yeah, you can do stuff like that. Now, word of warning, if you are in this mode, you will not get achievements, you will not get high scores, you won't get anything. So before you spend like an hour finding all the time stones, just make sure you're, you turn off your game and turn it back on. Please, for the love of God. Because I tried going for achievements one time with this and it was a bad idea. Um, and also another thing to point out is that if you put too many items on the screen, they'll start to disappear from like oldest to newest. So just be careful with that. But other than that, this is a really cool thing and I think you guys should play around with it and see what you can come up with. Anyway, thanks for watching and check back at achievementer.com for more.